What's up pups? So some of you may know and some of you may not know that I just recently got back from a trip to California and while I was there I bought some really cool things at some vintage thrift stores that I found and when I came home I had boxes waiting for me of different clothing that were sent to me so I just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys what I recently got. It's a lot so I'm gonna speed through it. Um, but I'm pretty excited to show you regardless. So the first thing that I wanted to show you was this awesome shirt and it's like covered in fringe and it's, uh, let me see if I can back up. It's almost like a, like a dress, like I'm actually wearing it with leggings um, and like a cardigan. It's fringe, like it's fun to play with, like I can just... This shirt I actually got from plunder.com, I'm not sure if it's still there because I got it when it was on like an 80% off flash sale, so if it's there go for it. Also everything is very out of order so I'm just gonna kind of pick up things as I go and I'll tell you where it came from. So this came from a vintage thrift store um, in California and the only reason that I got it is because it says chickadees on it. Um, my grandma calls me chickadee and so I thought it was kind of funny to get this and I sent her a photo of it and I was like look at this shirt that I found and she was like it's so cute. So I got this. It's probably gonna be a sleep shirt because I already wore it and I got spaghetti on it already. So it's already stained. Okay, so this one is from a different thrift shop that I found. I don't really know what this design is or if it means anything or if it's significant to anything. I just kind of found it in the thrift shop. It was a couple bucks and I really, really liked it. Um, so that's why I got it. I mean, seriously, if, if you know what this is, let me know. I just thought this shirt was really cool and it's like really old so it's really soft and really, really, really. Okay, so the next shirt that I got was just a California shirt that I found um, at a store that was going out of business, so all their shirts were 50% off. So I got this really cute um, California shirt. It's supposed to look like, I guess, Jack Daniels, um, but it's like Central California whiskey. I don't know. I thought it was kind of like a cool shirt to just have, I guess. I don't know. It was... I I love California. Okay, so this is a dress that I got off Plunder during that 80% off flash sale. Um, it's a little bit big, but I think it's okay. I wore it out last night on a date with my boyfriend and it it looked fine, I guess, but it's really cute. It has this little hole in the front that like fits not on your belly button, but basically right here on your stomach. Um, and then it's got like this like skater skirt that's pleated and if you spin in it, it actually flares out and I, it's fun. And then on the back it zips all the way up and it also has two more holes in the back of the dress. Um, so yeah, this one was on the flash sale. I don't know if it's still on plunder.com. It was super adorable and I couldn't not get it. My phone keeps going off. Sorry if you hear that in the background. Okay, I don't remember if I actually showed this in a video or not. I, went, I got this right before my trip because I had a gift card to Forever 21 and it's this really awesome skirt. It's a high-low, so it's really, really short in the front if you can't tell. Like, here's where it stops. Um, so it's like a short skirt in the front and then it goes really long in the back. Um, super cute and it's like really high. Like, it literally comes up to here. Um, so I love it because I can wear it with my crop tops and then it hides my stomach because I'm not too comfortable with showing my stomach. Um, so this is like a perfect skirt to have for crop tops. Okay, so as you guys know, I've shown you this blue lace dress in a past video that I got from SheInside.com, right? Okay, I was so obsessed with that dress that I went ahead and returned the pink one in the same video because it didn't fit me, and I got a green one. So now I have a green one and a blue one, um, but I think this one's cool because it'll go with my hair really well. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, because, you know, Christmas colors, they automatically go well together. Um, so yes, I have this green one now, and I'm very excited to wear it all the time, every day. I also got this right before my trip, and I just want to show you because it's so amazing. I got this really cool denim washed 90s looking backpack with studs on it from Target. It was on sale for like $15 marked down, I think 60%. So last one I had to get it and it actually worked out great for my trip because I didn't have like a carry-on bag for the plane um, so this is what I use for my laptop and my wallet and all that good jazz and it just came in really handy <laughs> okay so with the green lace dress when I returned the pink dress I had credit because the pink dress was more expensive than the green lace dress so they told me to pick out any accessory under ten dollars which I did and I got this ring and it's got like a bunch of fruits on it um, it's a double double thing ring where you can wear it on two fingers. Um, I just thought it was adorable because I was like, it's fruit, it's cute, right? So then when I get to California, I walk into one of the vintage thrift shops and I find a skirt, a high-waisted skirt that literally is covered in fruit, and I was like, no way, 
Oh my gosh. So it's a high-waisted skirt that comes about here. I don't really know what top I'm going to wear with it yet. I'll figure it out. But just the simple fact that I now have this amazing fruit ring and was able to find a skirt for $2 that matches perfectly, it's meant to be. Fruit is my best friend. Okay, so another dress that I got in the Plunder Flash sale. I don't really know how I'm going to show you this one because, it, well, I guess I can just put it on over my clothes. That's weird, but okay. So this is another dress that I got from the Plunder Flash sale. I'm only putting it on to give you an idea. It buttons all the way down. I look really funny in it wearing so many layers of clothes. But if you notice all around the dress, it's crisscrossed. So this part of your skin would be exposed all th around the dress. So it makes it look like it's a top and a skirt, which is kind of nifty. Um, again, flash sale, 80% off. I think I got this dress for like 12 bucks. I'm not really sure if it's still on the site. But again, it's one of those high-low mullet dresses, short in the front, longer in the back. Um, I can't wait to wear this one. I haven't worn it yet, but it's really cool, and it's super hot here in Florida, so perfect dress for the summer. Okay, probably one of the most favorite things that I got on my trip to California is this jacket. One of the same thrift shops that I went into, I'm always looking for like army jackets just because I like to stud them myself so I wear them um, and eventually I want to get into selling studded army jackets. This one I will not be selling because I found it and I fell in love but it is a crop jacket um, and it's green wool, almost all wool I think. It has these really cool insignias on the, the uh, arms, I forgot what arms are, and then it has these little buttons on the, the collar that say US so I'm not really sure if this is like a legit army jacket or if it's like a brand that made it um, because the tag doesn't really give you any ideas either it's just a plain tag with the size on it but it's so amazing and I bought it to wear with that skull shirt that I showed you guys um, with leggings. It's super adorable. I actually flew home with this and it kept me warm on the plane and I love it. It was probably the most expensive thrift that I found. It was $15 I think for this jacket, um, but I still love it so much. <laughs> okay, so I also got this in the Plunder 80% off flash sale and I'm kind of disappointed and I need to contact Plunder about maybe getting like a return or a, a exchange or something because it's really small. Um, but I got this really cute shirt that said you're gonna get yours and I think this shirt was like seven or eight dollars and I just I just thought it was cute. I don't know why I specifically liked this saying you're gonna get yours. Uh, maybe just because I'm vindictive sometimes <laughs> but regardless it, it was just really adorable and I'm really sad because it's super small like I don't know if you guys can see how small this shirt is. I got a medium and normally medium shirts fit me fine and clearly <laughs> This is really small, so I put it on and I mean it fits, but it's just ridiculously tight and I'm not super comfortable with my body to begin with because I feel like I'm wearing a flotation device all the time since my hips are massive. So I also got this shirt out in LA from Kitson, which is one of my favorite stores in LA ever. I love Kitson so much. Um, and it just says, Hello Los Angeles. It's actually a boy's shirt, but I loved it so much that I had to buy it. And it's super soft, super comfortable. It's definitely like a lounge shirt, or you can wear it with leggings, or you can wear it with shorts and tie it in the corner to make it shorter. It's just uh, versatile, and I love it. So this is like my new favorite soft shirt. And last but not least, I got these awesome glasses also in the Plunder 80% off flash sale. I just... I, you guys should know from the video I just uploaded on my main channel the other day that I have a really insane obsession with glasses, sunglasses in general. I just don't, I don't know why. And these ones I saw and I really liked the cat eye of them and they were this, this teal seafoam color which I think goes good with my hair again. I've become really obsessed with like seafoam mint colors, dark green colors just because of my hair. Is that weird? Alright and just because it's right in front of my face the last thing I want to show you is this headband that I have. It's like studded. Okay. Best part about this headband? I made it. Uh, yeah, I've been like really crafty lately and I've been making hair accessories. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have like 200 bows that I've made that are over in this corner that you can't really see. Um, but I have 200 bows that I made that I am selling on Etsy. I also just made this and I have not decided if I want to sell it yet. Um, because I really like it. <laughs> but, and it took me a while to make it. Um, but I may sell it. So if this is something that you guys might be interested in purchasing, like not this one in general or maybe this one in general, but just overall, like if you guys would be interested in purchasing stuff like this or like I might get into making like hair crowns. I know that's 
something that I've been wanting to do. Also, let me know down below. Um, I just need to see if there's a market for it. Like, I just, I like making them, but I can't wear all the ones I make obviously, or I just have a plethora of them in my room. Like, I have 200 bows right now. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing links to those sites, I will leave it down below. It's etsy.com slash shop slash be bow tied, but it's spelled funny, so check down below. I'm not being paid to make any types of opinions on these clothes. I'm not being paid in general for anything. I bought all of these clothes myself, so just wanted to make sure you guys knew that because I know sometimes people can be like, oh my god, but you got it for free. No, I didn't. I paid for it just like everybody else and uh, just got to pay attention to those sales like I do. <laughs> and yeah, so until next time, I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Peace out, Trouts.